Yeah. Got the heat, bitch. Ay, ay, this, this way, yeah. These niggas go that way now. This way, yeah. These niggas go that way now. This way, yeah. These niggas go that way now. This way, yeah. These niggas go that way now. This way, this way, yeah. This way, this way, this way, this way, yeah. This way, yeah. These niggas go that way. These niggas go that way now. Hey, what's up? And welcome back to another edition of Mike Chad's Murder City D's and I'm in the building with my dog J Dot. J Dot, what's happening? What's that, Ron? Your boy J Dot O Dot E Dot Grinding back in the building once again, man. Mike Chet back at it like a crack at it. You already know we gotta talk about these Grammys, man. And the Grammys that came and went. We done had some winners, some losers, a little bit of drama, look, uh, some raw performances. So let's get into it, man. 84 categories, man. 84 categories this year, but oh hell no, yeah we can't we can't get into all of them, but we will get into the most prevalent ones. You know what I'm saying? That's from the culture and by the culture, man. Uh, but I gotta give a shout out to that boy. What that nigga name is? Childish Gambino. But that nigga won so much at this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I ain't surprised because when you think about who the panel did, the people who voting on this stuff. He probably like the one, the the hip hop artist that's most relatable to them. So, I that don't surprise. Not with this is America though. I mean, he ain't like he ain't like he even like a rapper rapper. You feel what I'm saying? Like that nigga rap on the weekends for real. Listen, what I'm saying is like, like his whole everything about him is more relatable to. The people that's on the panel than anybody else. That's what I'm right. saying. Right. He, he most definitely got pulled being that, you know, he in the TV world. I mean, he 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 is the Grammys, really, though. But I was, really? I was surprised that they took it that way. Um, this is America because that was the song uh, that he won the most off for. I mean, shit, outside of that, it feels like summer. That's the only two songs really hit mainstream radio or, uh, you know what I'm saying, got any kind of publicity. So I, I was, I was. I was shocked that they went with This Is America because it was such a strong message in there. And it also let me know that not only was it a strong song, but that shit got heard. You know what I'm saying? And it got heard by them. So that that make it more like, damn, they, you know, they voted that in. Like y'all heard that? Y'all seen that? Y'all get it? Yeah, like that what you gotta think though. It was if you if you really look at it, that that song and that video was catered to a liberal crowd. And that's what the Grammy panelists is like, the 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 liberal crowd of Hollywood. No, I mean Hollywood itself is liberal, so like that's what it catered to. That's 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 who wanted to hear. That's that's their vibe. So, right. hey, but don't it seem like don't it seem like this is America just old as hell? When it made the Grammys for 2019, I yeah. was like, damn, wasn't that like so long ago? Yep, yep. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, damn. I didn't even realize this is America made it into this Grammy cycle. I thought that was the last right, Grammy cycle. Right, that right, right. I think that's the one. Or was it the um the VMAs? It was the VMAs that you know I was kind of upset. With. Remember, he went winning with the VMAs. I'm like, well, damn. You know, it was kind of getting yeah. old then, but you know, he bounced back. We are gonna get into a few of these categories, man. We are gonna start for a quick break, right quick, and when we get back, man. We are gonna get into it. Not the whole 84 categories, but we are gonna get into the significant ones when we get back, man. Stay tuned. This is Mike Check. And every episode, man, every time I get on this microphone, every time I talk to y'all, it's a must. I keep it real. And with being real, I got to let y'all know something that's very important and also very realistic. We cannot continue to do this podcast without your support. And support can come in many forms. You can share. You can tell somebody about it. Or you can open up your wallet or your purse and send us something. It ain't got to be a whole light bill or that like that a cell phone bill but hey you know what i'm saying it could be the little dollars or something you be putting in the collection plate man hey look out man you know if you want to keep it going man and keep a, a venue for the culture for the listeners that's gonna keep it 100 percent real in a market where everything is oversaturated and watered down Getting back into it, man. Welcome back to Mike Chat, man. 2019 Grammy winners, man. Starting off with record of the year. 
and we just we just told y'all we gave y'all a hint. We just talked about it, man. This is America won that record of the year. Yeah, I don't. Do you know who the uh, who else was not, who the nominees was in that? Yeah, category? yeah, yeah. Cardi Bleed with I like it. The joke, Brandy, Charlie, God's Plan, Drake, and uh, Lady Gaga with Shadow, and uh, all the stars Kendrick Lamar and SZA, and rock star Post Malone, Twenty One Savage. Oh, so, so it had some comp now. It had some. Yeah, comp. yeah. I'm surprised it won. I ain't gonna lie. If it, I probably would have went with the Post Malone. I feel like Post Malone was the biggest artist in the in the last little cycle, but man, shit, if if <laughs> damn, that's a good thing, man. Charles Gambino was able to pull that off because you know I'm I'm sure that wasn't expected by the majority. Right, 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 right. Well, getting into song of the year once again, <laughs> Charles Gambino with "This Is America." <laughs> <That's real. laughs> That was that was a bit song though. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a it was not only was it a bit song, it was a bit talking point. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you know, all the other songs that I'm thinking of that I feel like could have been in that category, they weren't really talking points throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? This one song definitely was at at the least it was a talking now this, point. Now this this song right here, it won over some of the same all the same songs, but this more actually won over booed up. And that's crazy. Now that was a that song, no boy, God damn. So for him, yeah, I feel like I feel like booed up was to me. Booed up was the, the the hottest rawest song of the year. I feel like that's a classic song. I'm gonna have so many remixes too, boy. Yeah, instant classic though, man. I was like, damn, boy, I'm about to win. I hear this song. That big gonna always do the same thing to me. <laughs> Hey, let me find uh-huh. out you were doing the do week part on that song now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, <laughs> that <dude up. laughs> Hey, that's crazy though. That's that's hey, that's real crazy though. But shout out to that boy, man. You gotta give it to him though. And the thing about it is though, to me, it's like Chalice Gambino is a creator. It's not like he rap all year long. You feel what I'm saying? He come in, drop some shit, and then he gone again. Like he don't, he don't no promo to it, no nothing here it is, you know what I'm saying? Take it and leave it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And he and that's how he do it, man. I think I think that work in his favor, man. Like he don't over right, right. You know, he 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 come, he drop a little something, you know, feed his fan base and then keep it right. moving. And that, that works. Two, him. three movies, a sitcom, then hit him with the goddamn single. But moving along yeah. to the best R and B song and you know, she still won booed up. It won with the best R and B song though. It got to what what other song could possibly be in a category above her? I can't think. Come of through and chill by Jermaine Cole and Miguel. Feels like summer. Uh, Chinese Gambino. Focus and long as I live, it won over all those songs. Yeah, none of them songs can even compare to Booed Up, man. Booed Up was an instant classic. Instant. Right. As soon as it dropped, I was like, I think that song man. made her career though because they they had showed a clip when she like first brought that song out and the crowd was just looking like, you know, like you know just looking, and they did like a year later she worked that song for a whole year and motherfuckers was word for word in that shit falling out and everything else. That's raw to me, man. Like to see an artist like work a song like that, you just don't see that no more. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that that's raw to me. Nah. Best urban contemporary album, and I'm, I'm so proud they won because they did. But I feel like at this point, but they don't got to try hard to win at anything, man. That's everything is loved by the Carter. Okay, okay, yeah, they it ain't nowhere in the head. They was they was gonna uh, not win something. Yeah, to to me, you they like OJ going in the courthouse with the Dream Team. It's like they got so many motherfucking plugs. It's like. But they coming up out of there with something like hits ain't shit. Like they could just randomly just do some shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not saying that they don't work hard. I'm just saying like they that season as artists that you know what I'm saying they can come out. You know what I'm saying? Like to to me, it's like they don't struggle for hits. They don't struggle for songs. They go in there and they make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Because they both been working at it for so long. Yeah, at this point they understand the formula to how they shit received as a right. hit. Right. Go get Cali. You gotta go get him now. Cali, you got that for for some reason though, boy. The the Carter songs with Cali, them bitches be going, dog. I remember on um, that shining song that they had with him, and that was my jam, dog. Like to me, I just, that that song right there captured like a, a feel for me though. I like that song though. 
For sure, for sure. What else we Best got? Best rap performance. Now, this is something I ain't never seen. Or maybe I've seen it and they pay attention to it, but it was a tie. It was a tie between King's Dead, Kendrick Lamar, J Rock Future, and James Blake, and Bubbling by a dude named Anderson Pack. So I guess they all got rewards or something, but I never seen that person like somebody tie on, you know, a, a category. Yeah. But they did tie though, both on one. Yeah, I never saw that before. And then I was, never then that made me think like, damn, who is Anderson Pat? You know what I'm saying? He must have been doing his motherfucking thing for, I don't know who the fuck. Oh yeah, no, nah, Anderson Pat. Yeah, now nah, he, he, he been everywhere now. I ain't, and I don't even listen to his music. But who is he though? Like, I for the people who don't know like me, who, who is he? Shit, from from what I see, that's Mac, that was like Mac Miller main man. Oh, like that's what oh, he wanted that's what I seen him start hitting the scene. Like once Mac Miller died, then like he was like the next one up. Like he blew, and it was like, damn man, Mac Miller, Mac Miller. Like that's all I okay, heard. Okay, you know so saying? basically, like, so basically, Mac Miller got locked up and gave his homeboy the cell phone, and he been catching pops ever since. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's how but I these boys won over Be Careful by Cardi B, Nice For What by Drake, and Sicko Mode by Travis Scott, Drake, Big Hawk, and Sway Lee. Okay, so they were okay. doing their thing. And, and again, for best best rap song performance, Childish Cambino, man, again, with This Is America. And see, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, I, I, you know, he won a lot, but he won with this one song so many times. Yeah, it, was, that, it just lets you know that that song right there was was a song that they felt like was was highly regarded. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, and he won. It got the and he across. won over Post Malone and Christina Aguilera, uh, Aguilera. Christina Aguilera had a song called "Like I Do," and um, it was the rock star song with Post Malone. Uh, Post Malone, the same song, Kendrick Lamar, Sizzler, All the Stars, and Pretty Little Fears by Six Lack featuring J Cole. Now that's big. I don't see how Post Malone ain't wearing more because, but Post Malone. He must have did something low key. Like, it must be some dirt or something on his name finna come out while these people ain't really. Because, you know what I'm saying? You know, like how, how, how like, the industry of blackball certain people and you don't know why until you be like, oh, that's what it was. Like, with, um, for instance, with uh the dude, uh Famous Dex. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got blackballed a couple of times for a couple of big gigs and shit. And it was low key that they had already footage and shit and police documents about him with some domestic violence type shit. Yeah, yeah. So I I'm trying that, to like, damn, what Post Malone did, boy, because he's supposed to be bringing home something. Yeah, yeah, he's supposed to be rocking them up, boy. I, I feel like he was. I don't know how he ain't went. No, I'm saying how he ain't winning all these categories. So now we on to best rap song. It's the best rap song period. A songwriter's award. A song is eligible if it was first released or if it was first achieved prominence during the eligible year. And that's that boy Drake with God's plan, Audrey Graham. And he won over King's Dead by uh, Kendrick Lamar, Lucky You, Sicko Mode, and Win. Yeah, but you know what killed me about that, though? Really, in all honesty, God's Plan was a trash-ass song. It was not a raw song. But the visual, like the whole story around the song was raw. That was, that was right. what I'm saying, like, that was definitely to be respected. But the song itself, that shit will boot it in you, man. And you know, you know, I can I can agree with that though, but I'm gonna tell you something that Drake got to make a trash ass song likable. And people been doing this forever. And I was told a long time ago, like this what made a song. It's the hook. Because nobody know none of the words besides God's plan. God, you know, you feel what I'm saying? And yeah. that and that, like nigga, you not finna vote that up, up, you know what I'm saying, above God's plan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you yeah, know the beat yeah. raw, but then shit, I don't sing along with the song till it come till it come around time for God's plan. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. That's what I'm saying, man. Like that's that was one thing I always kill me about these awards. So though, like I don't hold nothing against them because at this point it's blatant and we understand what it is. But God damn, man, that shit that was a trash ass. Chorus song, made man. the song was... though, man. The chorus made the song. How many times we done said this is a trash ass song? But you find yourself. Singing the goddamn chorus to the song can't get out your head. Okay, but the chorus ain't even no raw ass chorus like that. It just God. <laughs> That's it with a raw ass Come beat on, though. Man. With a raw ass beat. Best <coughs> rap album. They should have gave. They should have gave a producer award instead of Drake. Well, go ahead. Best though. rap album for albums containing at least fifty one percent playing time of new rap recordings. You know who won this? Who that? Ah, Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy. 
<laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. The whole, I can see hey, that the whole world, the whole world is behind this lady right now, man. Yeah, it ain't no. I don't anything she nominated for. I ain't surprised when this she the award but. right here that made everybody mad. But we are gonna get into some of the people who were salty about this award after we take this break, right quick, man. We'll be right back. This is Mike Check. Grammy Wellness 2019, man. We're going over the people who won 2019 Grammys. But right now, we on Best Rap Album, and that girl Kylie B got that with Invasion of Privacy. First time a female won Best Rap Album, even though I thought Lauryn Hill with the miseducation of Lauryn Hill won the best, best album, but I don't know. I guess I was wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so many different categories because it's basically the same thing. They just put it different ways. So who knows? Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe when she won them five, maybe it was, you know what I'm saying? She won five in different ones, but not best rap album. Um, I think, I don't know. I think probably Outkast won the year that she won best rap album. But let's talk about the runners up right quick first because you had Swimming by Mac Miller. You had Victory Lap by Nip- Nipsey Hussle. You had Daytona by Pusha T. And you had Astro World by Travis Scott. <clears throat> This what this what she won over. Them the albums that she won over. Uh, what's Mac Miller girlfriend name? I'm gonna just call her Nacho Grande. What her Come name on, is? Ariana Grande. <laughs> Nacho Grande. She was pissed, boy. She was pissed by this shit. She felt like the people gave the man Mac Miller mama a ticket to go to the Grammys, and why would they do that if he not gonna win? Uh, she was hot. She was furious. But my, I don't know though. I just felt like they probably just like you know what I'm saying like shit. You know. You know, come come vibe, come enjoy the festivities. You know what I'm saying? Your son worked hard for this. And if he was here, if he was still living here, be here. So might as well just, you know what I'm saying, come take your seat or something. But that don't mean guaranteed, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if it do work like that, then now I feel like the Grammy's rigged then. Right, right, right. If I mean, you get a true. ticket that guarantee you mean you're gonna uh you gonna win. Yeah, now, he was he was nominated. Shit. I mean, you know, just to hear his name get called at the Grammys is is you know, that's a thing. So, now, norm, normally, I don't, I don't be like. Normally, I have a lot of problems, a lot of issues with how they select things. But I just felt like that was the realest shit that they ever could do is not automatically letting him win because he committed suicide. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely, man. They, they did what they did. Now, let's go and address for for all the the the, the sideline haters because you was one of them. <laughs> you felt like you felt like Daytona. Was trash like this nigga? This nigga, um, push the T is just a nothing to nobody, and we seeing at the highest level the man artistry is being acknowledged. The man was nominated for the best rap album. You feel me? The best rap album. Man, first of all, Drake on, wasn't even nominated for the best <laughs> rap album. I'm on my meat meal shit. First of all, this and I've been feeling like this. First of all, who the fuck gave the Grammys the authority to judge us? Uh, so, a so therefore, somebody did. Therefore, a seven album, a seven song album, could never be considered the best of anything. Man, if that's the case, if that's the case, bro, I know, I know, Pastor Troy CDs that got twenty songs on, but I could pick seven of the rawest one and just say, okay, fuck the other twenty, put it out like this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, you gotta. I don't know, but did you see this nigga face when Drake won his award though with his uh, nominated ass? Yeah, he was salty. <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah, salty. They I... caught him. <laughs> they no, caught him man. all that snitching and, 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 and mud slanging this nigga did. And guess what they ate? Hey, look, you, you gotta sit there, buddy. But he got nominated. He got nominated for he got nominated for the best rap album. <laughs> Drake wasn't nominated for the best rap album. But he album. took home a Grammy though. Yeah, he won. He won some little piss poor uh, category. <laughs> hey, but you know what's crazy though? You know, outside of the Drake and Pusha T beef, and I, I really feel like they just put Travis Scott on here too. Nigga, you did all that shit, Super Bowl, all that shit, still ain't win no gambling. Oh well, fuck you, get up, get the fuck out of here. But the thing that I'm shocked about is that Nicki Minaj wasn't even nominated. She was pissed off she didn't win, and she made all kind of excuses. But I was even shocked, like, damn, you weren't even nominated. Not not that you made nah. good music, not not that you, that your last album was raw as fuck, but I'm saying like you wasn't even nominated, but you mad at you know what I'm saying you upset that you didn't even win, like nigga, you weren't even on the ballot. 
That yeah, was shocking, you know, because when, when you hear her, like, you know, she upset and blaming everybody, you would think, like, she was in the running up. You know what I'm saying? But these people wouldn't even look at your way. Which was, that kind of throwed me now because I don't know, maybe, I don't know if she made it in the, in the cycle. I don't know if, she, if, her, if her album landed, you know, within that little cycle or uh, what. <laughs> but I know what happened. What I was. know what happened. Nicki Minaj say <laughs> she been beefing with the Grammy man and she been silent and scared of him for seven years and that's why she ain't win. <laughs> hey. Was... That's what your girl said. She said that some, <laughs> some white man named Ken, first of all, I'm not oh. never finna be scared of no motherfucker named Ken unless it's a goddamn Marshall. But a, a, yeah, a oh. human named Ken? Nah, bro. But yeah, she said that she was uh scared of him and she ain't been speaking out, but they had some beef and, you know, she's scared and now she's speaking out and that's why she ain't win. I don't know, man. I ain't... I don't know. I can't call it. I can't call it. <laughs> hey, but getting into this, though, man, you know, we got to go into the gospel thing, um, you know, because they nominate um, gospel albums and all that kind of stuff, too. And I felt like it was very significant to go over this one um, as soon as I find them. Because uh, he did, uh, and I, I didn't even I didn't even know he was back. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't know he was back, but I can't never, ever, ever sleep on the talent of this dude because for me, this man here crunk up gospel music for at least by 10 years straight. And that's that boy, Ooh, Kurt, Franklin. Kurt Franklin, man. This man, uh, this man, a uh, bounce bike with a, uh, with, um, a reward, a Grammy, matter of fact, a Grammy up on the gospel. I can't find this shit right now, but yeah, I heard it. I heard people, I seen it all on social media, though. They was like, boy, this nigga, like, got 20 years in the game, still dropping hits. He just dropped another bit song. I was like, "Dang!" Right? It was with it was it was with somebody too, now, man. But listen, this is the thing though. I've been, I've been kind of, I kind of lost respect for Kurt Franklin because I grown up on Kurt Franklin. You feel <laughs> like Kurt? I was, I was raised in a Kurt Franklin household. You feel right? Me? But the thing about Kurt Franklin was, you know, all them people he was single, all them people who like. Who he was coming out with CDs with, like you know, all they had like a class action lawsuit against him. Like he put, he really was like a, a puff dad, a sud night type of nigga, just in the gospel world. No you know man, no. Yeah, without the violence. Now I ain't saying he was breaking up. He was hanging people over the balance about that check and the royalty. No, <laughs> no, nah, he, he, but he pistol, he pistol whipping the shit out of people, man. No. Oh, oh, you say pistol? Yeah, the people are pistol. The, Pencil, pencil. Oh, see, you know, you know, you know what my thing is about that pencil, though. You can't beat nobody with the pencil unless they agree to it. So if you agree to it, man, listen, we we had 2019. Well, that was back then, but still. But we had we had the 21st century, boy. You about to read over your shit and make sure it's what you want. But God damn, man, I thought it was God. Man, it's the music business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. I get, I get. God, I, I don't know, man. No, no boundaries, man. Shit. No, man. They like, fuck it, man. Where you God to whoop you? Hey, look, boy, the almighty dollar. But I found it, though, man. Best gospel performance slash song. And this award is given to artists and songwriters for new compositions for best traditional Christian roots gospel or contemporary gospel singer or track. And it's called Never Alone, Tori Kelly featuring Kurt Franklin. Boy, that boy bad, man. Yeah, he wrong. He wrong, man. Give him his props, man. Give him his props. A, that's a bad man, boy. He he ain't let up, boy. And I remember, I remember, man, it was a point of time where he faced so much controversy about the type of music he was bringing the gospel, but he never did. He yeah. never let up. Not once. He ain't let up. So I got to salute him for that because I know that pressure they had, and this coming from the Christian community, like, boy, with people like, boy, listen, we not with that. We not with that moving and jumping around and getting crunk in church. This is the Lord's house. I mean, yeah, that's but, true. That's true now. Nah. But that man was bringing people to gospel music who probably would never dare step foot over there, though. So, you know, you got to, you know, got to salute him for that, man. But so, who else we had? And that's it out of gospel. That's 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 the only, like, significant, you know, the big thing out of gospel. Right. But we do got something with that. Uh, And this surprised me, too, though, because I thought this nigga was chilling, man. So we got comedy. And it's crazy. Like, this is the most weird award that I read. I was like, for real? But they got a best comedy album, right? And right. within this best comedy album, this nigga Dave Chappelle won. 
with the bird well, yeah, regulation. That's automatic. Huh? Uh, that's automatic, man. I don't see anytime you talk about comedy, you know, if Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart name come up, that's who's gonna win. Regardless. But no, nah, it ain't it ain't about the comedy, it's about this a fucking album. Yeah, I ain't heard. Right, right, right. So I guess it's an audio, but Chris um uh, uh Chris Rock got one too called Tambourine, and he was a one he was nominated, but he ain't win, you know. David Chappelle, man, killing shit. You know what I'm saying? He, especially that break, though. I feel like they're going to give him everything he wants just to keep him around because Dave Chappelle came in the comedy world, kept everything fresh, man. He kept everything fresh and new. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really wasn't like a, a corny comedian. Like, he had some real substance and shit that it can make you laugh. Now, my favorite guy, though, is Richard Pryor. Though. I, don't, I feel like, you know, that was one of a kind. Now. Okay, okay, okay. It's something else we got to address about the Grammys, too, man. That boy Drake made a powerful little move when he was uh, getting his award. His, when he did his little Grammy speech, he was like, man, you don't need no award show like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if you, if you like, the biggest nigga in your city, you know what I'm saying? Like, your music that made you that nigga in your city or wherever you from, you know what I'm saying? And you able to feed your family and this and that off music. Man, you don't need no award like this to, to validate you, basically. Man, they cut that boy microphone off so quick. He I was like, damn. And he would not they be back next year. Boy bad mouth them on their show. <laughs> and he won't win a single thing next year for that. Oh, yeah. He won't win. He won't win. Yeah, that be their punishment, man. When, when, when you do stuff like that, though, that be your punishment. But also, I think, I, I'm not, and it's just me. This is me reaching. But I think that was directed more so towards a lot of people, but I think more so push your teeth. And I feel like you know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, like when Drake when Drake beef with somebody, it be serious for the moment while they're going through it. But afterwards, bro, he going to make amends. You feel what I'm saying? And I think that was kind of the light, light in the mood. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know dude was really pushing for that uh, that Grammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly, possibly. But who knows? Man, that was a, that was a good little mood on man by him. Uh, the performance by Cardi B definitely stole the show. You know what I'm saying? We see... Oh, we're offset. I ain't know they were back together doing they wanted to. So that that was that was uh, a good look. Hey, that would make that would make it so real though. That's why people relate because think about it, bro. Just think about this. How many regular people you know that went through similar situations and got back together? Down to every last one of them, right? Right. Okay, so when they did it, it was like, damn, they really is one of us. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like she really is one of the people. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, she could, yeah, she yeah. could have easily got a Mariah Mar Carey shit, and Nick Cannon is ass real fast. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's real. Now that's real. So shout out to Carter being offset. Don't they didn't got by? I guess they bite together. Shit, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't clocking they love life shit. But it is what it is. Hey, I got one more to go over too, though. I feel like this is the most important one because these dudes right here don't get enough credit. Uh, and that's producer of the year, man. Non classical. You had Boy Wonder in there. You had Kanye West. But that boy Pharrell took that bitch home. What that nigga done produced in the last? I don't that, know. I ain't know Pharrell see, was still Now, nah, let me tell you, though, because they got they got the list right here now. And this way, this way you know you're a bit down when you making moves and, and you just low-key like, fuck that, you know what I'm saying, spotlight. He did Eight Shit by the Carters. He did Man in the Woods, Justin Timberlake. He did No One Ever Really Dies, Nerd. He did Stir Fry by Migos. And he did Sweetener. <laughs> With uh natural natural grande. Man, I ain't I ain't know that boy working like that. I thought he, I thought them boy had them laid back in the Maybach. I guess they still getting it in. Yeah, boy, that nigga boy wonder though. He got them hit. I'm I'm surprised. Listen what our boy wonder done did uh to be nominated. He did Be Careful by Cardi B, you know that was by uh Diplomatic Um Immunity by Drake, Friends, the Carters, God's Plan, Drake. Heard about us, the Carters, Lucky You, Eminem featuring Jordan Lucas, Mob Ties with Drake, and No Limit. Uh, that song with G Easy, ASAP Rocky, and Cardi B. There was some big fucking songs, dog. Yeah, there was some huge. They had them bitches coming back to back to back to back, and like I said, the hardest working ones, bro. Like boy, one it don't be in the spotlight now. Let drop down to this boy. Uh, yeah, this boy, this boy Kanye West. This what all he produced in the same time period as the rest of them. Daytona by Pusha T, Kid C Ghost, and KTSE, uh, that's Tiana Taylor's uh, project, the uh, Nas album, Nazier, and then the Ye album. 
Womp womp. Nigga, you weren't finna win shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but shout out. Definitely ain't finna get out, boy. No, no. Definitely ain't finna get out, boy. No spotlight. They, no mic. They ain't even want to. They ain't even want that nigga to come on the stage to get the microphone. They just like, man, listen, we give Kanye anything. He gonna get the microphone and go stupid. He already don't wear stupid. <laughs> he gonna <laughs> go stupid there. But you know, when he got that spotlight, though, that's when he go extra dumb. Kanye, you get Kanye they a motherfucking can't. microphone in the audience. That bitch gonna go super stupid shit. They can't bully me. <laughs> Looking at. Hey man, that's it, man. We uh we done ran through most of the 84 categories, man. But them the ones, man, them the people who uh, you know, went into 2019 with a gang of energy and a couple Grammys, man. This been Mike Check. Thank y'all for checking us out, man. Tune in tomorrow. Y'all know we do this shit every day. We out of here. Yo. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.